Romania, the forgotten country of Europe. Do join us on the 7th of July for a 14-day tour. On arrival in Bucharest, we are off to Sibui. We cross the mountains passing the Transfaguran Road, the most beautiful road in the world with an altitude of over 2,000 meters. We have a photo stop at Prince Vlad Dragula's castle. He was a real person and he ruled Romania. We stop for maybe a fish for lunch and continue to arrive in Sibui late afternoon. We discover this beautiful city by foot. It is a quaint little city with lots of squares, lots of ice cream shops, beautiful churches, and have time to have lunch, maybe in one of the many street cafes. This afternoon, we are off to the largest open air museum in Romania. In the evening, we depart for Adriana guest house. Just think, we're going to eat with the locals. We're going to dip bread in salt and have a sip of strong alcohol. Dinner will be good, and a well-deserved rest is waiting. From Zabui, we are on our way to Sihiswara, Europe's best preserved medieval town. Our hotel is in the walls of this beautiful city, and therefore we only travel with 15 people. We discover this town and too many interesting places to mention here, but the most attractive is the clock tower or the council tower built in the 14th century. Dinner tonight in one of the plazas. From Sikiswara to the north of Romania, Marmatai. But we have a stop at Sapanta. And this is a merry cemetery. You will come back home and show the people the pictures. And they will say, what is this? They will not believe what they are seeing. From Marmatai, we are on our way to discover the Basara wooden monasteries. We do it on a Sunday. We want to see the people in their local costumes and also hear the choirs singing and it will fill the hills with beautiful sound. We discover other monasteries before we hit further to the Red Lake. This is where we're going to see a bit of the sad history of Romania. But it gives us time to have a walk in a beautiful forest and the pass and I'm sure the camera is going to go click, click, click from the Red Lake to Brasov, my favorite city. We are there in time for lunch in a square and then off in the cobble street. Mm, I'm sure you're going to buy a silk blouse from Italy for just 300 Rand because it is sale time. We discover Brasov and the most important here is the Black Church with priceless collections of oriental rugs as well as a 4,000 pipe organ. A cable car trip to have a breathtaking view of this beautiful city. In the evening we enjoy a traditional dinner, meat and more meat for South Africans. Brush off to Sinai and here is the Dragula's castle that we all know because the Irish writer Bram Stoker changed him into a bloodthirsty person. I'm sure our guide is going to tell us more about this. Tonight you can eat by yourself anywhere in the city. Maybe a pizza, maybe a hamburger or a local dish. And from Sinai off to Tulcia, our hotel is located on the Black Sea with tiny little rubber ducks you go into the small channels and try and see some of the 300 bird species. We are sad to leave the Black Sea, but we eat to Bucharest known as the Little Paris. And I don't have to say more about Bucharest because if it's the Little Paris, it must be beautiful. A farewell dinner in the old town and the next day we discover the second largest building in the world after the Pentagon, the Palace or Parliament of Bucharest. We have time to discover Bucharest further on our own, have lunch maybe in the old town, shop for chocolates next to our hotel, or maybe one of the good wines of Romania. On the 24th of July, we are home and we will say, why didn't we visit this country long ago?